This is Minecraft Trinity, a series inspired by flaming Moai's ultra hardcore generations. In this format, me and my two buddies try to beat the Ender Dragon Wither and Warden. On the way, everyone has one life like normal hardcore, but if somebody dies, they still have a chance. Because if one of us defeats one of the golds, everyone that died on the way gets their life back. We switch about every 15 in-game days and Sukanda started as the Wheel of Faith decided. Next in line is myself and then Professor Fink. Even though their videos are German, I'm sure you'd enjoy them, so make sure to check out the complete Minecraft Trinity play and their channels. For those who haven't seen it and are asking why is this dude doing an episode again? Tsukanda died in his episode so it's my turn. I have two ways to bring him back. The first one is to defeat one of the golds, probably the ender dragon, or the second one would be dying and starting with a fresh world. But we are optimistic so let's hope for the best. Uh -huh. Here we are again. Um... Yes, everything seems fine. Let's see. Almost broke my iron helmet, the shield, the Christone finder, some tools. Mm, okay, Trinity Lock. He hasn't wrote anything. Okay, makes sense. I wanted to equip myself as usual, but saw that we only had 8 iron left. So I equipped the golden pants, leather boots, as well as the iron chest plate I crafted. Time to go to the nether again. Yay! Uh, oh, wait. I know that there was something off. I forgot to turn off the RTX. Okay, this is way better. So this uh, 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 Yeah, get him boys. Okay. So this direction. On my way to Tsukanda's gravestone I killed every Hoglin. Curse you Hoglins Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wait, can I can I you can climb this, right? You can't. Okay. Yeah, this will save my ass if I'm running from something. Mm -hmm. Big drop. Big drop. Wait. That's it! There it is! But how do I get there? Wait, maybe if I go this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks, looks reasonable. If I just go like right here, still a big drop. Um, maybe, maybe here. This looks better. Okay, there's the there's the tree. Okay, can I? Yeah. Okay. Good. And now... Uh, don't fall down. Okay, we have a staircase. And I think... This is the cliff where he died. Because I think he was attacked by a Hoglin. I'm pretty sure he was attacked by a Hoglin and pushed from the edge. Yeah. So let's just go down here, um, and I think I should be there now, right? Yeah, okay. So do I click it? Maybe break it? Okay, yeah, that seems to work. I sorted what was left and returned to the portal. And you'll stay here. I don't want another Hawkland surprise. Now I had full iron equipment again. I would need to go to the Never to find a fortress, but first I wanted to make a memorial for Tsukanda's death. Memoriam mortalitatis or something. Don't hate on me, it's what Google says. I have to place it up here and I think I will do it right here. So... You are reminded of your mortality every time you leave the bedroom. Okay, now combine this and 
full prod for armor. Really nice, we're coming along. But our equipment was lacking unbreaking and mending, so I returned to the village. I planted more trees and punched some dead bushes to later sell all the sticks to the Fletcher. Man, 32 sticks is cruel. I really need to zombify this man. Because I could sell paper, I wanted to build a sugarcane farm next to the trading hall, so I went to the close by lake to get some sugarcane. Did I get it? No, there it is, okay. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, it's a dragon guy. Ouch. Okay. Up, up, up. Okay. Ouch. Rude, dude. Just to attack someone? Be happy I, I don't come to you in the water. Besides the mending books, I was able to get a sharpness for book before I returned home. At home, I placed a cauldron to prepare to make potions, of weakness in particular, but to my surprise, we didn't have any mushrooms, so I had to go to the nether. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh. Uh. Oh, they are just hunting. Good job. Um, okay. I said I just wanted to grab some mushrooms and there are some right back there, but what if instead I go down here because I never went this way and I look for a fortress because with a fortress I can revive Tsukanda. <laughs> okay, quick. Go, you vile creatures. And so I made my way through the nether. And even though Tsukanda just told me that fortresses could be thousands of blocks apart, which I didn't know before, I was about to go home. But as I climbed this hill, I gazed upon it. Mm -hmm. Wait, that's it, right? Is that it? That's it. There is a fortress. Finally. Um, doesn't seem too hard to get there. I eh, just do my standard. Eh. Go. Okay. And now I just save this off this area. I don't want to be pushed into the lava sea. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe this one as well. I bridged over the lava seas and dropped down onto the fortress. The first thing I did was make a way out and making it somewhat safe. Well, that was the last block. I can... I can and I should, I should mark this. Um, just like this. Okay. Uh, who are you? Uh. Okay. Just keep calm. Just block it and attack. Okay, he's dead. The bigger threat is dead. Now I just... Uh. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Not what I'm looking for, but I'll take it. And I should definitely break these walls. So I can block off the ways where I already looked. And I can make like a, a straight path to a place spawner that I hopefully find. Hopefully. And that's what I did. I slowly made my way through the fortress and blocked off every dead end. And sometimes I was even able to use the ward strategically against the mobs, but that wasn't always the case. Man, so many skeletons. And the place. Great. Please don't. Ow, ow, ow. Two places. Okay, never mind. Yeah, fuck off, guys. Fuck off, fuck off. No. Uh, hey. uh, big man. Okay. Okay. Retrieve. Uh, uh, retrieve. Okay. Uh, three hearts. Uh, I'm not made for this. Uh, I'm like. Uh, 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 where 
are you guys coming from? Two uh, uh, one and a half hearts. Uh, okay, block this off. And now, just here. On further exploration, I found some nether wards. Okay, take all of it. Maybe use the shovel instead of the bow. Go away. Yeah. Uh, I need one more inventory space. Um, I can... Uh, yeah, just this bow. Oh, um, hi sir. Do you want to, to just go away? Thanks. I made my way down to this crossing and once I plucked off every way I started to look around which way I would take. Yeah, that seems friendly. Okay, learn something new every day. Piglins and wither skeletons fight each other. A couple of blazers could be... Ow. Okay. Well, that is my own fault. Could be a spawner in that direction, but I'm unsure. That hmm, doesn't seem friendly, and you, you piss off. Come on. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go this way. And it turned out to be the right direction, but before I started to farm the blazers, I blocked off every way so I wouldn't be interrupted by any mob. In a quick matter, I was able to collect 16 blaze rods and returned home. Okay, that's enough. 33 levels even. So, two full enchants when I'm back. Hmm, skeleton. And another one. Do I need to light out this place? Does anybody know? If you do, please comment down below. Please comment uh, if I need to place torches around this place to stop them from spawning or if they always spawn. Uh, it's night, okay, well, I could have guessed. It's been day 84 quite a while, I think. I quickly placed the soul sand and the nether wards on top before doing the trinity lock entry for these past five days. Looks fine. Okay, now I'll go to bed and I'll do days 80 to 85 when it's actually probably 81 to 86. Stop me if you can. And that's it for this video. Sorry that it is a bit late, but I hope you could still enjoy it. If you did, please like and subscribe and maybe leave a comment as well. I hope to see you in the next one. Dear Pluck Enjoyer.